And the coverage of Kate Middleton's <coughs> cancer announcement is a reminder of the worldwide attention constantly put on the royal family. One of the publications that has covered the royals for years is Teen Vogue. Here to talk about media coverage is Vogue's magazine editor-in-chief, Versha Sharma. Versha, welcome. Hi, thanks so much for having me. And we're thrilled to have you. So there's been a ton of media coverage about Kate Middleton the last few months. You know, she disappeared for a while. Now, of course, we're getting this statement. What are people saying? Because I'm sure this is coming to a huge shock to the world. Exactly. It is a huge shock. I think probably nobody was expecting this. So I think there's a lot of important discussion happening right now around was she essentially forced to make this statement before she was comfortable doing that because of all of the media speculation, because of all the conspiracy theories that we saw surrounding um, what was going on with her? And I think, obviously, this is such an important and deeply personal thing that she is going through. And so I do think that their request that people back off essentially now. I, I hope that that is heated by people. So do you think she came forward because of this firestorm of media scrutiny and of course all those conspiracy theories that were spreading? Yeah, I really do. I mean, I think if you look at the facts of the situation, the royal family and, and what their official statement was, was that she wasn't going to be in public life for a couple of months. We knew that, they gave us a heads up about it. But because of a series of I think uh, you know, some missteps by Buckingham Palace as well, conspiracy theories started to flourish. And, and none of this is Kate's fault, by the way. Uh, she should be able to recover in private uh, as much as she needs to, especially with her family and her children. But I do think that Buckingham Palace PR did not help the situation in recent weeks. Do you think she owed the public an explanation? And I'm going to add a follow-up question there. Do you think yeah. she, she would have been treated different if she was not a woman? <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, I think, yes, absolutely yes, she would have been treated differently if she weren't a woman. Uh, I think what we've also seen with Harry and Meghan in recent years has just shown uh, racism and sexism that still permeates a lot of our media and a lot of British society, unfortunately. For Kate, I do think being a woman plays into it, certainly. But again, I think this, this whole debacle that happened with this Mother's Day photo uh, in the way that that was handled, I think that is what really made the situation worse. And again, it's not on Kate to have to give this kind of public statement. I really think that the royal family should have handled this on her behalf much better because, of course, they knew exactly what she was going through. Do you think Buckingham Palace threw her under the bus with that apology statement about that infamous picture that you just mentioned? Yes, I do. I do. I absolutely do. And I think a lot of people, when that statement came out, when, when Kate made the apology uh, for editing the photo and, and how it went wrong. First of all, that was on UK Mother's Day, which as a new mother myself, I was like, this seems a little messed up. Uh, but secondly, now that we know what she's been going through, again, we know the royal family knows what she's been going through. They've been dealing with it themselves. And so what I'm really interested in is what was the TikTok of that apology and that announcement. Like, I, I can't understand why they would want um, somebody who's in recovery and dealing with cancer to have to make a statement like that. It really seems like they should have handled that differently. Kate is a role model. She revealed her diagnosis. Teen Vogue covers so many issues affecting young readers. How do you think this will help your readers and, of course, others? Like, Kate is still very young. She's 42 years old. And one of the first things that I thought about when she revealed this announcement is that it's unfortunately part of a larger trend worldwide. We have increasingly seen people under 50 worldwide be diagnosed um, with early onset cancer. And there's no one reason that we know that this is happening. Obviously, scientists and, and medical experts are studying this to try to figure it out. But it is a really disturbing trend that more and more young people are being diagnosed with cancer. And so I do think and I hope that Kate's announcement and her diagnosis prompts people to do their latest medical checkups. As we know, early detection is sort of the best form of uh, preventive measures that we have. Um, and unfortunately, it's just something that we're going to have to deal with. Marisha Sharma from Teen Vogue. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.